you've drifted from God. You want to get right back with God. You want your relationship with God to be stronger. You want your relationship with God to be true and actually holy. Here are three ways I would say once you distance from God that you can get right back with God and be more solid with God. As you guys have requested, here I am delivering. The first way I would say is to be serious. Be serious. Don't say, oh, I want to get back right with God, but then the next day you're doing stuff that God don't even like. Ain't that supposed to be your friend? Ain't that supposed to be your God? Serious. Ain't that supposed to be your Lord, your Savior, Jesus Christ? So you got to do things that he likes, that things that he loves, which is not lying, not stealing, not gossiping. Baby, if that friend is making you gossip, you got to throw him out. Because, baby, your soul comes first. And Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And he already made it clear that nobody goes through the Father except through him. The second way I would say is to be honest with yourself. Be so honest with yourself. If you're for real about it, then you will be honest with yourself and lay it out on the table. Let God know where you have come for, where you have fallen short. Let God know how you've fallen short. Let God know the truth and nothing but the truth. The way I do it, I get on my knees. Yup. I lay in prostrate mode. Yup. Google it. And you go ahead and let God know, you know what, Lord? I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. I've been mingling with the wrong people. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't know why, but the lies just keep slipping out. I'm not even going to lie to you, Lord. I've just been so attached to doing this, this, and that. Let him know. Lay it out on the table, straight up. All right? Because when you're honest, it's, it's hard to hide stuff. When the light is put on it, when you're honest, God really helps you through it because he sees your honesty and he loves that. He loves when we're honest. <laughs> and you got to also remember that's supposed to be your best friend. Meaning if the devil like literally betrayed, I'm not going to say betrayed because he didn't really betray God, but if the devil turned away from God, right? If the devil who was once literally an angel top angel top ranks turned away from god which makes you think your little friend at school not gonna turn against you you're not gonna know these people five years from now you know who you are gonna know god you know who is gonna be there god because mm -hmm. he created you so get to know your creator tell your creator you know what lord i really want to get to know you i really want to get close to you i really want our relationship to be stronger and be serious about it okay now, the third thing I'm going to say is stop making excuses. Bro, you can scroll on your phone for three, four, five hours, but you can't just pick up your Bible for 30 minutes. Stop playing. Stop making excuses. You really want to get to know God? If you take step one and step two serious and step three, stop making excuses, baby. Look, add me on the Bible plans. Add me on the Bible app right now. Add me on the Bible app right now. Let me tell y'all my name. Because we're not, we're not making excuses, baby. You don't know when Jesus Christ is coming. Okay? I don't even know my username. Let me try to find out. I think my username is Lola Wola. Yep, Lola Wola. Find me. Lola Wola on the Bible app. And, make, and join Bible plans. Right now, I'm doing a Bible plan called Purpose gift and calling what is my purpose what is my gift what is my calling lord what am i here for school. this life is not about school it's not about your job it's not about bills oh no. this life is about salvation it's about making sure your soul is good and a lot of y'all your soul is starving because you don't even pick up the bible you don't make time for god 30 minutes in god's presence it's not hard start by singing to him if that's supposed to be the love of your life, right? And my Bible tells me, go first to your, to your first love. In Revelation chapter 2 verse 4, it says, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Your first love is Jesus Christ. Don't let God have anything against you, because you left him. He is your first love. He first loved you. He Die for your sin for crying out loud. He wants you back to him. He wants you loving him. He wants you to see that the sacrifice he made for you was not easy. The day that it was time 
for Jesus Christ to be crucified, you guys. He literally said, Lord, if you can take this burden from me. But, but no, your will, Lord. Your will, Lord. And the devil is working hard. He's working overtime. You know what we need to do as the body of Christ? We need to work harder. We need to work overtimer. <laughs> okay? So this basically means stop making up excuses as to why you can't sit in God's presence for 30 minutes. Baby, you've been scrolling on TikTok for five hours. Non-stop. This life is not about the bills. My Bible tells me to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things come after. If you're looking for a job, all these things come after. If you're trying to buy a house, all these things come after. If you're trying to have children, all these things come after. If you're trying to get married, all these things come after. Because it says seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things come after. Because at the end of the day, it's your soul. You don't know when it's time's up, babe. You don't know when it's time's up. And just because nobody is talking about, oh, Jesus Christ is coming. Baby, you don't know when he's going to come. You don't know the day. You don't know the time. You don't know the hour. But you got to make sure you're sitting upright with God. And you got to be serious. Stop making excuses. Build this true relationship with God and be honest with yourself. Be honest with you and God. This is all I got for you guys today. Y'all can let me know what else y'all want to see from me in terms of advice on getting closer to God. Advice on how to pray. Advice on how to read your Bible. Whatever y'all need, baby, I'm here to help. I'm here to help. And we not playing no more. Because I took a break. I gave you y'all space. I did. But I'm back. God bless you as you obey in Jesus' mighty name. Remember to inhale. Exhale. Rebuke hell, children of God. Amen.